Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for all signs. So whenever you hear the messages, when you're meant to receive it. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for all of your continued love and support. I really do appreciate it. Information about me or the channel can be found in the description box below. Personal readings are closed, so please beware of scammers in my comments that you may see here on YouTube or on any other social media platforms, okay? Don't give anyone your money. <laughs> Let's see. Now, this could be your story or situation. Again, this could be past, present, or future. This also could be a situation that is happening to someone who is in your space or your energy, knowingly or unknowingly. All right. He could be a she, she could be a he. Time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. Keep in mind, also, we all have several different signs and elements in our birth chart. So pay closer attention to... The message and not so much the signs or the gender okay so i first just want to say that what i'm picking up on um <clears throat> this energy that i'm feeling right now just as i'm sitting here shuffling is both anxiousness and anxiety and i feel like there's the energy of multiple people here um in your situation okay you may be very anxious for a new beginning, but I feel like there's people around you who have a lot of anxiety about your new beginning. There is separation anxiety here. Um, you could be breaking away from certain situations, people, places, things, jobs, relationships, friendships. And it seems like you may be learning more about the value of your own presence. And you're learning the value of your presence because of the separation anxiety that is caused when you remove your presence from certain situations. OK, there's a lot of energy here of walking away. The new moon in Pisces is coming up. You guys, I keep saying I've been talking about the last few weeks like this, um, the lunar new year. So it's like this is really kind of like for me, of course, the, the new year. Um, I don't really see, you know, December 31st as. The end of the year, January 1st is the new year. Everything is about to bloom and blossom here soon with spring, with the lunar new year. And this Pisces new moon that's coming up is bringing about a lot of new changes. So you could have experienced a lot of attacks as of recently because it's sort of like end of year cleaning. But then there's like spring cleaning as well. So you're, you're getting rid of old things and bringing in new things. But this has a lot to do, I feel, with people's finances, your love life. Um... You know, this is the year of the number seven, 2023, that chariot energy moving forward. And so it's time to go into a cycle where you're building things that most likely are going to create the foundation for for at least like the next seven to 10 years of your life. So it's a major overhaul. It's a major shift of energy um self-awareness and consciousness is being elevated and so your third eye could be opening you're seeing things you're seeing the truth about certain people places things and situations and that means that okay so a card did pop out you have to free yourself so you're looking now at this door to personal healing and happiness and here you see the attachment card and the garden and the gate so with this garden and the gate here i just feel you could be between the ages of 30 to 34 um, could be highlighted here. You could have been in some type of cycle that has been ongoing for five or more years. Um, this could be a job. This could be a friendship or relationship um, relationship with, like I said, friend, family member, lover or whomever. But it's like you keep looking out and you know that there is this happiness, this healing, this um, fulfillment that's out there. And it's like you have the key to this new beginning you've gotten as much wisdom that you, you can get from the current cycle that you're in. So it's sort of like you have no choice now but to move forward. Well, you do have a choice because 
yeah, it's like you have to make the choice to, to really separate yourself from the past, to separate yourself from how you used to think about certain people, places, things, and situations. And, and right behind it here, you see envy and strategy. I told you. See, you right now are anxious. You're looking out and you're like, okay, I know that there is something better for me that I would like to go towards. But you have people in the background who are very envious, jealous, and, and you know, obsessive about whatever this new beginning is because you now are co-creating with spirit to create a new world for yourself. So there's a storm warning here. Some of you, you have a very significant partnership or relationship coming in. And as you go and embrace this journey, you most likely are walking away from a lot of people choosing now your your life force energy. You're choosing your own life experiences and the people that have been around you, especially from your past um, friends, family members and lovers. They've had an opportunity to kind of dictate and control the things that have been happening in your life for a long time. This has a lot to do root chakra here. Um, things that you were conditioned to think and to believe between the ages of one to seven. That's when the root chakra is, is really developed during that time. So your I, ideas, you know, your, your ideologies and theories about life, about love, about finances, all of those things are being challenged now. And I feel like you could be in this energy where you're feeling tied up because you do have to make a choice. Okay. You do have to make a choice. Some of you also, you're being very much held back because you have here man holding a coin on heart chakra. Some of you, you have a particular masculine who has a lot of love for you, but this person is in some type of karmic cycle that they have refused to get out of. They're very indecisive. So they haven't freed themselves from a situation. And so because of the connection you have with this person, this could be, again, friend, family member, lover, man, woman, child, or whomever. There's a strategy here. Um, it's like this person is connecting to an older version of who you used to be. And because of that connection, it always is like this tug of war type of situation here. So there's more shadow work and healing that needs to take place because as I've been saying a lot lately about like the generational things, these hexes and curses or just, you know, whatever you, you want to refer to it as a lot of times when you are born into or sworn into a certain type of family or you're in a covenant um, within your family or a group of friends or whatever, you may be unaware of the fact that it's almost like being guilty by association. You know, people say birds of a feather flock together. So if you're hanging around a lot of people and they, you know, they have issues with being insecure, they're very fearful or, you know, they're afraid to move forward in life. They're very indecisive. You will become that. You will become like the energy that you hang around and you will attract the same type of energy that they attract. So what I'm seeing right now is like a radio and it's, it's like, you know, people say like you're, you're standing in, in the same building, but you have different views. This is the thing. It's like you're detaching from the view that you used to have about certain people, places or things. For some of you, there is definitely a lover from your past. You no longer see your future with this person. You just don't, you know, but I feel like perhaps this is a person man holding a coin and the heart chakra this person they have love for you but they have love for the old version of you so you're constantly fighting against that because you want to go towards healing and happiness they want you to go back to being tied up stuck in that illusion of what you thought love was supposed to be based on what it was demonstrated to you as perhaps growing up or how it was in a past life if this is a past life connection so you have this blossoming abundance here i keep feeling like i need to sneeze when you're going through a spiritual awakening if you look up the meaning of sneezing oftentimes sneezing is is how you you cleanse you know, people always say, God bless you when you sneeze. Um, it's a form of cleansing. And so a lot of you, you know, I know we all as a collective have been going through like ascension flu, but this energy, it's it's a constant purging of, for one, like your, your suspicions about things is being 
clarified and confirmed about what's going on with these strategies, with these envious people. You're seeing the truth about it, but you're you're cleansing it. You're being forced to get rid of that type of energy. But I'm definitely seeing here. Yeah, it's like. For some of you, it's a, it's 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 family members, it's friends, and there is a particular lover that, like I said, these people, I feel like they they're spiritually attacking you for sure because they have a strategy to keep you attached to the past because you're wrapping up this cycle so that you can go towards the door to spirit for this personal healing and happiness. So somebody wants you caught up and it's unfortunate, but it's almost like, and I don't know if this is past life karma or ancestral trauma. What it really is, is you exiting the matrix because for some of you, even your own friends and family, especially family here with the root chakra, they really want you to conform to a certain way of being instead of you going after the life that you want because they're still stuck in the illusion that they taught you between the age of one to seven that root chakra development root chakra that's all about your foundation so if you have people around you and this this could be family parents friends um your therapist it could be anybody it could be the readers that you listen to if they are standing on a certain type of foundation and when you decide to take your bricks and build a new foundation most likely they're going to tell you that how you want to build your foundation for your personal happiness and healing your way is wrong but they they don't understand how you're building your house because it's not a house that's being built for them they will never find any kind of peace or solace in your home because they're just not on the same frequency in my personal life just being I've, i'm dealing with the same thing People keep trying to say, you know, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. But it's like, honestly, my, my my success comes from me going against what the people around me are telling me not to do. You, sometimes th this is about the bird leaving the nest, the garden and the gate. You have to leave the nest. It's like, well, what you taught me to do that may have worked for me in the past and it worked for you. It doesn't work for me in this season. So stop trying to tell me what to do because I'm not listening to you. We're not dialed on the same frequency. If you go and you listen to the radio or even if you're watching television, you can't watch two stations at once. You can't listen to two stations at once. You're watching Lifetime. I'm watching Disney. You're listening to Hard Rock. I'm listening to Pop. Stop trying to make me dial into your frequency. You know, and, and some of you, it's like it's, it's a, a push and pull like this tug of war. So you're going to have to be very strong at this time, especially with this new moon energy. This is a time for you to really get very clear. You know, I, I remember I did a reading a few days ago when I was talking about February 27th through the 29th. But for some of you, the next few weeks before we go into the month of March, the number three is here. Um, and then next is victory. March is probably going to be a month of a lot of victory and success for you. But you need to now these last two weeks of this month, really, really get your house in order, meaning it's time to really set some boundaries. You can go back and watch my reading from like two weeks ago. where I talked about spiritual restraining orders. Set boundaries because you have people, friends, family, lovers, people from your past. They really want you to see things from a distorted view and perception because their perception of a lot of things is distorted. So what they're telling you to is do it is based on their own unhealed heart and their distorted perception. And I always tell you guys, if you have a distorted perception if you're a distorted masculine or feminine, your, your perception is distorted. Your desires become distorted. What you say you want in life, it's distorted. You, you're, you're not going after what you want. You're going after what you've been taught to want. We're not staying in that sellout energy. You don't have to sell out to make other people around you happy. And that's the issue here. Let's look at this envy. Why are they so mad? <laughs>
This says own worst enemy. You cause most of your problems or most of the bad things that happen to you yourself. Now, for some of you, this could be a card for you. Okay. For some of you, this could be a situation where you're needing to assess and evaluate the fact that by staying in a situation around people and doing certain things, you're creating blockages in your life. And this is the part that's hard for many of us to accept that sometimes we are our own worst enemy. It happens because it goes back again to the conditioning being very tied up in how it used to be, how they told you that it was supposed to be or whatever. This will create a lot of issues and obstacles because again, there's some distorted energy here and it doesn't matter how much you grow and you, you change and evolve. At some point you have to have an ego check and allow yourself to have an ego depth to see that, okay, I need to humble myself because every level has a new devil. Where you're going now is something that you're needing to learn and understand about where you came from so that you can make sure that this next transition for you, it will go smoothly. So sometimes you can be your own worst enemy and cause certain things to happen because of your perception of your reality, because your perception is what creates your reality. So if everything is going to be doom and gloom and oh my gosh, woe is me, you're always going to be the victim because that's a victim consciousness and mentality. It's like people with a poverty mindset or a lack mindset, you're always going to be chasing your own tail. No matter how hard you work, no matter how much money you make, it's like you're always in this energy of being insatiable. You can never be satisfied. But for some of you, you're dealing with people. They are their own worst enemy. They make things happen. They cause issues in their life and they're probably projecting and pl placing blame on you. So we have here copycat trying to be just like you and everything that you do. Somebody here has a blocked heart chakra. It says a family member is hating on you. <laughs> causing you hot and cold body flashes. Keep in mind, this could be you or this could be happening to someone in your life or around you. Okay. Someone here is all up in your business getting tarot readings on you. So you could have a friend or a family member either in your life or this is someone that you're connected to. They're getting um, readings on you. It says beware of anyone new entering your life. And then we have here Desert Sage and Yer Yerba Santa. So these are things here that you just may want to use for cleansing this type of energy. But you have here... Um, yeah, somebody here is, is like digging up dirt about you. Somebody is constantly trying to look into your past. This could be someone, it says here, feminine hater. So someone could be mad that you're like a divine feminine. And if divine feminine could be male or female, but you're in an energy of nourishing yourself, nurturing yourself. You're able to nurture other people, but you're in an energy of receiving the universe. God is giving you blessings and you're in an energy now where you're aligned to receive. And again, it goes back to the frequency. Somebody in your life, in your circle, they're not in a frequency of, of receiving. They're in a, a, a very masculine, but toxic masculine like energy, whether they're male or female. This is someone who's always in like fight or flight mode. And they, they, I, I feel like this, they don't know how to be at peace. And because you're in this divine feminine energy, you're resting, you're retreating, you're receiving. Someone is very jealous and envious of that. They want you to go back to when you were in fight or flight mode. They want you to go back to when it seemed like your world was always crashing and burning. Somebody has a real problem with. You just living your life and the fact that your heart is open. This could be a family member also that's, that's telling you to be aware of people entering your life. So you have to be careful of friends and family members that they don't want you to have new people in your life. Because oftentimes when, they, when new people enter your life who are actually on your frequency, they're going to inspire you to get rid of the old stuff that you need to let go of. Again, birds of a feather flock together. A lot of people, they don't want you to leave the nest. Because as long as you're, you're chilling in the nest with them, you think like them, you're becoming like them. And that's what they want for you. When you start flying into the nest of someone else, or you let you invite somebody into your nest and you, 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 you take on new energies. 
these people who are jealous and envious and copycatting, they're trying to catch up to where you are now and you're already on to something new. So they want to stop you, block you and slow you down. Because if you stay in the same frequency, you're going to listen to the same station. You're going to watch the same things. You're going to listen to the same things. But that means that you have to sacrifice your own growth and healing to hang out with them. Like I said, this could be friends, family member, lovers, or whom a lot of you right now, you're just being called to elevate and people who don't want to elevate, you're going to have to leave them behind because some of these people, they're their own worst enemy. For some reason, I keep thinking about music. It's like your life is on shuffle and you're dealing with people whose life is on a loop. They, they, they've listened to the same song on the loop 10 times and your, your music has been set to shuffle. You've listened to songs from 10 different albums, 10 different artists, several different genres of music, and they're stuck on the same loop. So they're like, well, I don't understand. I want you to come and listen to my song and stay here on the loop with me. No, you have to go. So you're going to have to make sure that you release this fear of upsetting other people. You can't live your life for other people. These people, they don't know how to live their lives for themselves. And the fact that you're choosing to move on in life, it's a problem for them. It's a lot of energy out here, too, of people trying to live vicariously through you. Through your good, your, your good experiences and your bad. They want to live vicariously through you because like, their life is on a loop. They won't grow. They won't change. They're not evolving. If they want to witness what, what God is doing in the life of someone chosen, then they look at you. Instead of them living their own life. So again, whenever you leave the nest and they can't watch you and monitor you anymore, they're upset. Some of you guys, you just have a lot of unhealthy connections that you're going to have to really clean, clean up. Pay close attention to the people who are around you the most.